Okay, guys, welcome back. This is Abdi Muhammad Who will be taking for you math of a uh, form two, particularly area of a triangle. Remember, we have learned the area of a triangle in primary. We said area is equal to half base to the side, provided that the height and the base is given. But here we are going to do area of a triangle in form two concept of mathematics. Uh, when we are talking about area of a triangle, there are two scenarios or situation. Uh, situation of one is uh, you will be given two sides and an included angle. Uh, let's start with the example one. You are told uh, find the area of the triangle is below. This example one yeah. Find the area of the triangle below. Uh, if I take example one, we have a this our triangle. This our triangle. Now for your information. For your information, uh, you'll be given two sides and an included angle. Let's say this is 18 centimeter, this is 14 centimeter. Then we have here 60 degree, here 50 degree. Now, if you want to go ahead and see this kind of uh, mathematic concept, what you're going to do is uh, and let me take the calculator. I'll be using the calculator for your information because. Uh, uh, you can use the calculator or the table, there's no problem with that. And now, if you want to get the area of this kind of triangle, remember, the included angle we are talking about is this one, which in between, let's say this A, this is B, and this is C. So, lines AP and BC have got the dimensions, which is 18 centimeter and 14 centimeter. So, this is what you normally call the included angle. In the events where you don't have the included angle, uh, you must know that the sum of interior angles of a triangle adds up to 180 degrees. So add these two, that's 110 minus 180, 70 degrees. So we're going to say area is equal to a half AB sine theta. This is how we now get the area of a triangle given two sides and an included angle. A half AB sine theta, where AB and the two sides given. So we can say area is equal to a half times A. 18, let's take A as 18 centimeter times B, which is 14 centimeter times sine of 70. By 2, 1, by 2, 9. So area is equal to 9 centimeter times 14 centimeter times sine 70 degree. So area A is equal to uh, 14 times 9 is 126 centimeter squared times sine of 70. So you see the calculator here, you can say uh, 126, 126 times what? Sine of 70. Uh, it will give us area therefore is equal to 118.40 centimeter square to two decimal uh, uh, places. Now let's go ahead and see another example. Uh, for your information, let's go ahead and see another example so that we don't feel stressed during a uh, national exam. Uh, you are told, example two, example two, you are told, find the area of the triangle below. This is the triangle you have it. This is 48.6 degree, this is 24 centimeter, and this is 28 centimeter. So this one you have the included angle and the two sides. You can start our solution by saying solution area is equal to a half AB sine theta. So area is equal to a half times A, which is 24 centimeter, times B, let's say 28 centimeter times sine of uh, 48.6 degree by 2, 1 by 2 is 12 so area is equal to 12 centimeter times 
28 centimeter tennis sine 48.6 degree sine 48.6 degree okay area therefore is equal to you can say 306 centimeter square 306 comes from where comes from two half times uh, 28 you can say 10 times 28 is 280 plus 28 times 2 is what 56 that is 306 centimeter square times sine 48.6 degree so we can still use our calculator by saying let's use the calculator 306 times sine 48.6 so this will give us area therefore is equal to 252.3 there is a centimeter square so this is how you're going to get the area of a triangle given two sides and an included angle we can still go ahead and see more example about this let's see a situation where we have the area and we are told to look for a dimension or the theta angle the angle which is theta sine theta now let's see this example, example 3. Let's see our example 3. Example 3. We are told that the area of triangle ABC, the area of the triangle ABC. A, B, C. In the figure below, in the figure below, is uh, twenty-eight point one meter square. Full stop. We are told find find the question A. The length of the perpendicular. The length. Of the perpendicular of the perpendicular from A to B C from A to B C. Then question B the length of B C the length of B C the length of B C. This is the Triangle. This is our triangle. This is A, this is B, and this is C. So we have here 7.2 centimeter, and we also have this angle which is 48.6 degree. So what we can do is uh, the mirror for us is what? Uh, what you can do is uh, let's solve this question because uh, you are told uh, question A but before I go to question A let me read the whole statement the area of the triangle ABC in the figure below is 28.1 meters squared full stop find uh, question A the length of the perpendicular from A to BC let's draw a line from A let's call this point M this point where the perpendicular line by the perpendicular line bisects BC as M. Remember that these two are equal. BM is equal to MC. And this is 90 degree. Don't forget that. Now you are told the length of the perpendicular from L to BC, that's A. So we can solve this very easy. You can say by saying opus or by hypothesis. Because we have this angle, then we want to get the opus, which is AM. Remember, don't forget that. We want to get what? AM, which is the opus. So we can say opposite of hypotenuse. So we'll apply sine. So we can say sine 48.6 degrees equal to opposite over the hypotenuse. Our opposite is what? AM. When you're standing here, your opposite uh, over the hypotenuse, which is uh, AB. AB. So we can say sine 48.6. Is equal to M, which I don't have, divided by AB, which is 7.2. Look here. Then eliminate this one, times 7.2, times also 
7 7.2 here. Cancel these two. Then I will have an, which the perpendicular line is equal to 7.2 times what? Sine 48.6 degree. So an therefore is equal to, use the calculator again. You can say 7.2 times sine 48.6. It will give us 5.4. 5.4 centimeter. So that's how you're going to get. Then uh, you are taller. Uh, the length of BC. We know that we have the area. There's a reason a story you're given the area. We know that area, question B. We know that area is equal to a half AB sine theta. So we can say a half times A. A is the one given which 7.2, which is 7.2 times B. I don't have B, let times BC is equal to 28.1. Sorry, sorry, times uh, sine 48.6 is equal to 28.1, equal to the area. Then by 2, 1, by 2 is 3.6. So we can say 3.6 times sine 48.6 times BC is equal to 28.1. Then to get BC, divide both sides by 3.6 times what? Sine 48.6 all over 3.6 times sine 48.6. Cancel this thing. Then BC is equal to 28.1 divided by 3.6 times sine 48.6, let's get that. 28.1 divided by, open the bracket, 3.6 times sine 48.6, close the bracket. That will give us 10.41. So PC is equal to 10.41 centimeter. So this will be uh, the final answer for your information. This is how you're going to get the area uh, and its application, but when given two sides and an included anchor. These are the kinds of questions that you can in KCC for your information. This sometimes you can even be asked to get the value of the angle in between, then you'll be given uh, the area. Uh, we will go ahead in our next uh, class, we'll see uh, the area of a triangle given three sides where we'll be using Heros formula for your information. Please make sure you subscribe to YouTube channel so that you get our uh, series of uh, classes we are carrying out here. Uh, these are academic uh, uh, topics that uh, will help you in your KCAC for your information. Please make sure you subscribe to the YouTube channel uh, wherever you are in the country because it's going to help you, particularly during KCAC. These kinds of questions will come uh, in KCAC. Otherwise, I wish you the best.